Plant life cycle. Plant growth. Plant growth encompasses germination, root and shoot development, and the formation of stems, leaves, and flowers. Through photosynthesis, plants convert sunlight into energy for growth. Careful attention to watering, fertilization, and pest management promotes healthy growth and optimal yields. Quinoa on the rise. Few plants have as much protein as quinoa, and it can grow in many environments. For that reason, it's become popular with gardeners and commercial farmers alike. Check out the following tips to grow quinoa at home. Quinoa requires full sun to conduct photosynthesis. Sow seeds where the plant will get plenty of light. Provide at least 10 inches between rows to give the roots plenty of space. If you maintain growth charts, you'll notice that quinoa grows slowly at first. But when the stem reaches about 12 inches, the buds will flower. The plant is ready for harvest when the leaves drop. Only the seed heads will remain. These can be stripped from the branches with little effort. Remove and dry the seeds for your first quinoa harvest. Harvest the harvest is a crucial stage in agriculture, marking the culmination of the growing season and the culmination of the efforts put into cultivating crops. It involves the gathering of ripe crops from the fields, which requires careful timing to ensure optimal yield and quality. Harvesting techniques vary depending on the type of crop and can include hand harvesting, the use of machinery, or a combination of both. Once harvested, the crops are typically sorted, cleaned, and prepared for storage, processing, or distribution to markets and consumers. Storage Effective storage is crucial in agriculture to preserve harvested crops and maintain their quality. Proper storage conditions, including temperature, humidity, and ventilation, are essential to prevent spoilage and maintain freshness. Farmers utilize various storage methods such as silos, warehouses, refrigeration units, and root cellars to meet the specific needs of different crops. By implementing sound storage practices, farmers can prolong the shelf life of their produce and ensure a consistent food supply. Mr. Garcia, we found a problem in bunker silo number 13. Mold is growing near the south opening. I suspect two causes. First, there was improper leveling. Too much moisture gathered at one end. Secondly, the silo has too much ventilation. It can't dry and cool the silage. As a result, most of the silage is destroyed. The rest is in silage bags for now. Number 13 is closed until we remove the mold. Should we use one of the tower silos for storage in the meantime? We should also discuss how to fix number 13. I don't want this to happen again. Thank you. Carla Thompson, Storage Manager.